the Russian Federation recklessly conducted a destructive satellite test of a direct ascent anti-satellite missile against one of its own satellites. The test has so far generated over 1,500 pieces of tra trackable orbitable debris and hundreds of thousands of pieces of smaller orbitable, orbital debris that now threaten the interests of all nations. In addition, this test will significantly increase the risk to astronauts and cosmonauts on the International Space Station, as well as to other human spaceflight activities. Russia's dangerous and irresponsible behavior jeopardizes the long-term sustainability of our outer space and clearly demonstrates that Russia's claims of opposing the weaponization of space are disingenuous and hypocritical. Um, estimating that the probability of a hit to Dragon would be lower than the rest of ISS. And Houston Endurance is uh, SpaceX on console to have a conversation on Dragon to Ground about forward actions if we do have a, a hit. And Endurance also, Houston, like, yes, uh, SpaceX is on console. If it's under half an hour, we are thinking about coming back on the station. If it's more than half an hour, we are thinking stay suited and potentially come back home. This is all if Dragon takes a hit. And Endurance Houston, uh, alteration to that proposal if if Dragon takes a hit, we will get you back on station. So this was a reckless act uh, by Russia to actually uh, shoot down and destroy a satellite as part of a test of an anti-satellite uh, weapon system. The satellites, the capabilities NATO allies have in space are extremely important for what is going on on Earth. Communications, uh, uh, navigation, uh, early warning, all of that is dependent on space capabilities. So, of course, when Russia now tests new space weapons, when they uh, test it also by actually destroying a, a space uh, uh, capability, uh, creating a lot of dangerous debris, uh, that is uh, concerning both because the debris actually poses a risk uh, to civilian activity in space, but is also of concern because it demonstrates that Russia is now developing new weapon systems that can shoot down satellites.